do. White people really come from the Caucasus mountains. Do white people really come from the Caucasus? How Caucasians got their name? The Caucasus is a difficult and complicated place. One Russian political scientist told the Financial Times, referring to the small mountainous region between the Black Sea and the Caspian Sea that comprises Georgia, Armenia, and Azerbaijan. Wait, do white people really come from the Caucasus? It's highly unlikely. It is highly unlikely. According to the article, it's highly unlikely that the Caucasus mountain range was the original homeland for people who are now classified as white. Zeus with thunderbolts in his hand, king of the Olympian Greek gods. Zeus is the sky and under God, an ancient Greek religion who rules as king of the gods on Mount Olympus. Wikipedia, Zeus, Zeus is the sky and under God, an ancient Greek religion who rules as king of the gods on Mount Olympus. Name Zeus is the Greek continuation of Theus, the name of the Proto Indo European god of the daytime sky, also called Theus, Thater, Sky Father, deriving from the root. Eu, to shine, and in its many derivatives, sky, heaven, God. Wikipedia, Deus, Deus, literally, daylight, sky, God, Deus, Thater, literally, father, daylight, sky, God. Deus was conceived as a divine personification of the bright sky of the day and the seat of the gods. Deus was often paired with Degram, the earth mother, in a relationship of union and contrast. The sky over the feather grass covered steppe in Ukraine, Deus Thater, has been translated as Father Daylight Sky God. Zeus, the Olympian king of the Greek God. Personification of the sky. The literal worship of the sky and calling the sky Zeus. The sky with thunderbolts. Zeus.
nature worship. System of religion based on the veneration of natural phenomena. For example, celestial objects such as the sun and moon and terrestrial objects such as water and fire. Nature worship, rituals, animism, religions, and history. Nature Worship Nature Worship was the cultural world view of the inhabitants of the Caucasus Mountains region. When we look for the material artifacts and archaeology of the people of this region, it will all be based on items relating to nature worship. The culture has been called pagan and gentile. Nature worship. Nature worship, also called naturalism, is any of a variety of religious, spiritual, and devotional practices that focus on the worship of the nature spirits, considered to be behind the natural phenomena visible throughout nature. A nature deity can be in charge of nature, a place, a biotope, the biosphere, the cosmos, or the universe. Nature worship is often considered the primitive source of modern religious beliefs and can be found in pantheism, deism, panotheism, deism, polytheism, animism, totism, shamanism, and paganism. Forms and aspects of nature worship, animal worship. The term animal worship or zoology is an umbrella term designating religious or ritual practices involving animals. This includes the worship of animal deities or animal sacrifice. An animal cult is formed when a species is taken to represent a religious figure. Animal cults can be classified according to their formal features or by their symbolic content. Megalith. A megalith is a large stone that has been used to construct a prehistoric structure or monument, either alone or together with other stones. There are over 35,000 in Europe alone, located widely from Sweden to the Mediterranean Sea. Sky Deity. The sky often has important religious significance. Many religions, both polytheistic and monotheistic, have deities associated with the sky. Star worship, astral theology, astral mysticism, astral religion, astral or stellar theology, also referred to as astral or star worship is the worship of the stars individually or together as the night sky. The planets and other heavenly bodies as deities or the association of deities with heavenly bodies. In anthropological literature, these systems of practice may be referred to as astral cults. Stone circle. A stone circle is a ring of standing stones. Most are found in northwestern Europe, especially in Britain, Ireland, and Brittany, and typically date from the late Neolithic and early Bronze Age, with most being built from 3000 BC. The best known examples 
include those at the Henge Monument at Avebury, the Rollwright Stones, and elements within the Ring of Standing Stones at Stonehenge. Scattered examples exist from other parts of Europe. Later, during the Iron Age, stone circles were built in southern Scandinavia. Shamanism is a religious practice that involves a practitioner, shaman, interacting with what they believe to be a spirit world through altered states of consciousness, such as trance. The goal of this is usually to direct spirits or spiritual energies into the physical world for the purpose of healing, divination, or to aid human beings in some other way. Earth religion, earth-centered religion, or nature worship, is a system of religion based on the veneration of natural phenomena. It covers any religion that worships the earth, nature, or fertility deity, such as the various forms of goddess worship or matriarchal religion. Some find a connection between earth worship and the Gaia hypothesis. Earth religions are also formulated to allow one to utilize the knowledge of preserving the earth. Earth Religion Origins Claims by Earth Religion Sources According to Marija Imbutis, pre-Indo-European societies lived in small-scale family-based communities that practice matrilineal succession and goddess-centered religion. Old Europe Civilization Old Europe Archaeology Old Europe is a term coined by the Lithuanian archaeologist Marija Mbutis to describe what she perceived as a relatively homogeneous pre-Indo-European Neolithic and Copper Age culture or civilization in southeastern Europe and part of central eastern Europe, centered in the Danube River Valley. Old Europe is also referred to in some literature as the Danube Civilization. Marija Gambutis, the civilization of the goddess, the world of Old Europe. The source, the North Pontic Makeup culture. The North Pontic culture is typified by hill forts and hundreds of Kurgan Timuli grave mounds with mortuary houses built of stones or wood. Archaeologists have carefully documented the history and culture of the people associated with the culture of Old Europe. Old Europe are the people groups written about in the book of Genesis, chapter 10, the children of Japheth. Region of the Caucasus Mountains, Makah. 
makeup culture. You can now look at the faces of some of Britain's earliest inhabitants. This Cro-Magnon man was actually found in France. However, archaeologists say it is likely there were similar populations of Cro-Magnons living in the UK at the same time. Cro-Magnons were anatomically modern humans who lived in Europe 40,000 to 10,000 years ago. They were heavily built and tall in stature with a short, wide face and a large brain. Early Cro-Magnons, like the man pictured, would have coexisted with Neanderthals. And DNA evidence suggests they would have had dark skin. Kurgan Makeup Burial The early Kurgan, Kurgan I period, 5th millennium BC. The latter represented by massive European Cro Magnon C type people with an admixture of Caucasoid elements. Kurgan Makeup Burial, Cro Magnon. 